declaration by him that those members have vacated their seats. Proud to I had brought to his attention that there was a pending suit at the Supreme Court. Which pending suit was to seek certain interpretation of Article 97. In fact, Mr. Speaker himself acknowledged that on the floor of the House. As a result of his decision, the majority caucus expressed a disagreement with his decision and gave a clear indication that the matter will be pursued further at the Supreme Court. So on Friday, another process was filed by me and the Supreme Court in a unanimous decision determined the matter and ruled, among others, that one, speaker's interpretation of the law was wrongful and that the Supreme Court was staying his decision pending the final determination of the case. In other words, his earlier decision to the effect that those four MPs, that is MP for Formina, MP for Aguna, Aguna West, MP for Suhum, and Amenfi Central had vacated their seat was nullified. In essence, we are law abiding. We have heard that our colleagues say they disagree with the Supreme Court. They've been using unprintable words on the Supreme Court. On Sunday, the minority leader, my respected colleague, Dr. Forson, led the minority caucus in a press conference whereupon they told Ghanaians that today they will come and occupy our seats by their own proclamation. MPP, our tradition, is a law-abiding tradition. Our forebearers always use the courts to correct the wrong. Since 1992, our leaders have always used civil advocacy and the courts to ensure that we get the peace that we have today. On top of my head, I can recall the era where we used thumbprint ID cards and we used opaque ballot boxes. All these are things of the past today because of MPP. Today we have a very transparent electoral system because of the advocacy of our forebearers. It's our turn in leadership. The country is hereby informed that we will not give that lawless platform that NDC is seeking. We will not give them that platform. We will not give them that theater they so aggressively seek to disrupt democracy and to destroy our nation. We know there are innocent people out there, innocent Ghanaians going about their business, innocent Ghanaians in the academia, innocent Ghanaians who are struggling to get three square meals on the table for their families. We care about them. We understand that there is politics, but we must do it in a civil manner. We believe that the appropriate thing is to quietly yield to them and wait upon Mr. Speaker. After all, the ruling was directed at Parliament and the Speaker, not an individual MP. Yesterday, the bailiff of the Supreme Court served Parliament of Ghana through the legal directorate. The director of the legal department 
received the ruling of the court. So, in other words, Mr. Speaker is on constructive notice, or maybe I should say actual notice of the ruling of the court. We have to leave it there and respect Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker has been part of our democracy since 1992. He's a senior lawyer. He's practiced in our court. And I believe that even if Mr. Speaker disagrees with the Supreme Court, he knows what to do. Suffice to state, at the risk of being repetitive, that we were not disrespectful of the chair. When the Speaker made this pronouncement and the majority caucus disagreed with Mr. Speaker, we didn't cause commotion here. We left quietly and told Mr. Speaker that the right place to express those grievances will be at the court. So we expect our brothers and our sisters on the NDC minority side to do the needful. But all would be for Mr. Speaker to make a final determination. The nation is looking up to Mr. Speaker. All his years in politics, this is a crucial moment for him to add weight to what we have done to preserve the peace. MPP is for peace. MPP is for peace. MPP is for peace of Ghana. We will not allow anybody to disturb the peace of the country. It is a notorious fact that we remain the majority caucus of this parliament. You, the media, must add your voice to the advocacy to compel our colleagues to respect the fidelity of the law. I have heard a respected colleague on their side, Honorable Dr. Ayini, calling on Mr. Speaker to respect the Supreme Court decision. If that is true, then that's a noble call from him. Dr. Ayini is somebody I respect because of his respect for the law. I believe that moderates on the side of NDC will prevail on the hawks in their party to call them to order. So I would want to thank you for being with us. We are leaving this chamber peacefully into our offices. I wait Mr. Speaker's arrival. And if he calls leadership and we do pre-sitting discussions, we'll take it up from there. But for now, that lawless theater will not share with them because Ghana, Ghana, our country Ghana is bigger than any one individual. So we would want to, at this point, sing our party's anthem to let you know who we are. Colleagues, we are the new, we are the new patriotic party. We are the new, we are the new patriotic party. The elephant is a winning symbol. We have war to save Ghana. The elephant is a winning symbol. We shall war. So you have the NPP MPs who've just left the chamber out of the house. They say that they are not going to give in to the NDC. There's not going to be any violent confrontations in the simple They are chanting their party anthem as they walk out of the chamber to, to, to other place. You hear the NDC MPs jeering them. They are jeering them. They are asking, they are jeering them. And so that is said to be the showdown here. They say that they're not going to give in to the NDC. And then as far as they are concerned, what they are going to ensure is that the proceedings will not be disrupted. You hear NDC MPs clapping away, 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 away as NPP MPs walk out. NDC MPs have also started beginning to chant a few of their revolutionary songs. And that is the situation as we have in Parliament. The majority leader, less than Afinio Makin, just finished addressing the... The, 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 the press here in Parliament insisting that they consider themselves the majority and will not concede that to the NDC. But for now, they are not going to give in to the NDC. For now, they are going to their offices up until the Speaker of Parliament takes his seat. And when he does take his seat and offers directions 
on what should happen next, then they will return to the house. So that is how far the situation is. This is Joy News Desk here on the Joy News Channel. The NDC have now been left to be the ones who have taken their seats on the, on, on the majority side in Parliament. And they say that everything points that they are the real majority. And now they are singing the national anthem, insisting that they are the majority in the house. Uh, uh, chaotic scenes that was expected hasn't happened. It hasn't happened at all. Just the NDC MPs having taken over the majority seats and they say they are going to take that seat. There's absolutely no way they are going to hand that over back to the NPP. So, that is the situation here in Parliament. For those of you who are just catching up, it's been said to be a really confrontational sitting where the NDC and MPP all claiming the majority side. About 8 o'clock a.m. today, the doors to the Chamber of Parliament was opened and the NDC and MPP MPs all walked in. The MP, NDC MPs who have arrived here this morning in their numbers, they take over the majority side and are still seated. In fact, they are still seated on the right-hand side of Mr. Speaker and we are waiting for 10 o'clock. It's actually past 10 now. That is the time proceedings was begin or was expected to start. It just hasn't started. There were a couple of NPP MPs who were seated up until the leader of the NPP caucus, Alexander Fenyomakin, came in and came to talk to some of his colleagues and then decided to address the media. The substance of the interaction with the media is that they consider themselves the majority. However, they are not going to conduct themselves in any way that to violent confrontations on the floor of the house for which reason they decided that they will leave the chamber of parliament which is at the Accra international conference center the dome and go back to their offices and wait for the speaker of parliament to come when the speaker of parliament takes his chair perhaps we'll call them for a pre-sitting if he does call them for a pre-sitting they will definitely talk among each other and if there's any resolution to this impasse they will do that but the NDC MPs still on the floor of parliament, chanting revolution songs, speaking the revolution, uh, Arise Ghana Youth, and they say this is the moment that they really have taken over the majority in parliament, and that is not something that they are willing to give up at all. There's a rolling coverage right here on Joy News where there's a lot of controversy in parliament as to who exactly is. You see some judge leading the chorus and NDC MPs really marching on the floor of the house it's really fun times here for them on the floor of the house because for most of them they've gone back to their secondary school days where there's a, there's really a match pass going on with some george leading There's a lot happening, a lot, a lot happening on the floor of parliament today. A day that has been said to be the country at the precipice of chaos. Ghana's democratic credentials being challenged. But so far it has been handled pretty well. The NPP MPs have come in and they've said that that's why they are disagreement. They are not going to stay on the floor. They've left to their offices. But the NDC MPs remaining, you see a candle there. You see MP for Medina Francis Xavier Sosu. You see a number of them really remembering their jhs and shs days where they have marched past they are not relenting there's there's a lot of singing and chanting on the floor of the house as they wait for the speaker of parliament alban bagwin to come in to gavel the house in session it's so far not been confrontational there's not been a single confrontation except the one that happened around 8 a.m when they were walking in when some went to mps had a little confrontation at a check at a security screening door but it has largely been peaceful. It's been fun, uh, if, I, if I'm allowed to put it that way, with MPs on both sides claiming the majority side in parliament. And we will we'll try and get you some interviews and try and see what the situation is with, with both sides doing so. When the speaker comes in, ultimately, because it's 10 o'clock and any moment from now, we will expect that the speaker will walk in. When he does, what we will expect is the speaker to inform the house if he's so minded to do 
whether or not the Supreme Court has served him or the order they made on Friday. The majority leader, you heard him there say that that order has been served on Parliament. And so the expectation will be that at least the Speaker of Parliament will comment on it. And whatever consequential directives he may, he may, he may be mandated to give. Mind you, there are efforts on the wave between yesterday and now to file some applications also at the Supreme Court to stay that order that has been made by the Supreme Court. So a lot of stays, stay of execution applications flying all over the place. But as of yet, that has not been filed. And what that means, constitutionally and legally speaking, is that that order declaring four seats vacant by the Speaker has been stayed by the Supreme Court, which means the status quo prior to Thursday has been restored and that the NPP are the minority strictly speaking by the supreme court declaration that they made last week but the ndc mp say until the speaker of parliament communicates to them that is not something that they are willing to they are, they are not willing to go by because they do not take orders from the supreme court from social media they only do so if the speaker of parliament communicates to them so the speaker of parliament ultimately and a lot hinges on the Speaker of Parliament and his pronouncements and declarations that he will make today. And when he comes in and he makes those declarations and he sets the stage properly for what we will see, then we can take it from there. So for Stina and our colleagues on news desk, that is the situation here in Parliament. Just a recap of what has happened in the last few minutes. The majority leader, Alexander Fenio Markin, has come in. He has addressed journalists. He says that they consider that they are still the majority given the order of the Supreme Court. They are not going to give that up, but they are not going to stay on the floor and lead to confrontations with their colleagues. And so they are going back to their offices and wait for Mr. Speaker to come in for their usual pre-setting. They will try and see if some agreements can be reached. If those agreements are reached, then so be it. If the agreements are not reached and it has to be, then they will not be part of it. And so they've left now. But a lot of NDC MPs on the floor, every person you see on the floor now from your shots is an NDC MP. And they came in this morning, their numbers, to, 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 to do one thing, to take over the majority side. And they've succeeded in doing so. And between now and when the Speaker of Parliament comes in and perhaps makes some consequential directions as to what exactly should happen, they say that they are the majority and will not give in to any person who will seek to take their rightful place, that is the majority side, from them. So this was what's happening in Parliament currently, where the NPP has actually walked out. Uh, they are saying that they are going back to their offices and waiting for the speaker to call them back. And when the P speaker calls them, they are hoping for a pre-seating before so that they can have a, you know, they, they can all come to a good conclusion. As far as they are concerned, they are still majority in parliament. But when they got to parliament, the NDC had occupied the majority seat. And they are not too happy about it. So they have decided not to sit at the minority side, but rather go back to their offices. We are waiting for speaker to also take a seat and uh, maybe call on them back to Parliament or give his, um, his verdict with regards to what has been happening. Yeah.